Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Loki. Welcome back. Today, we're going to do a 15-minute LED build. These are the components that you'll need. I'll list them in the details below. Make sure you grab them before we start building. If you don't got them, just watch the video anyway. First thing, you got to have all your tools in order. Well, I don't always have all my tools in order. You'll see as the video goes along. But these are all the things we're going to need. We're going to need a pliers, some screws, micro screwdriver, a power cord, everything I showed you in the details above. The most important parts are actually going to be the power. You need this HPG 100. I got an HPG 148. No dim. I figure I'm just going to use the 100 watts. I don't need to worry about dimming. I got the four inch screws because I just like to have a little space between the driver and the heat sink. Just let that airflow blow. We got the eye hole hook. I can't remember the size, but I'll put that in the details. This right here is just a little bit different. This that 100 watt Royal Blue Chill Puck. Um, not released yet, but by the end of this video it might be. Go check it out, Chilled LED. They also got it on Rapid LED. I'm not going to bore you guys with my slow movements and building is slow, so we're going to speed this up just a little bit. This is all for aesthetics for me. I want to make sure that these wires aren't twisted and they come in red, black, negative, positive, just in that same direction so I can just push them exactly how they need to be and then pull the wire back and keep them tight and firm. I had to loosen it a little bit. I made the legs a little too firm and I need a little wiggle to be able to get them into them holes. Right now I'm adjusting the nuts that came with the bolt so I can have the heat sink leveled on top. Each space I want about an inch gap. I don't want to accidentally damage the board so I'm going to hand screw them so I can feel the tension. I do recommend don't use the power drill, use your hand screwdriver. After I have everything the way I want it, I just take a little pliers and tighten up the nuts so that there's no wiggle, there's no shake, and the nuts are pretty much locked into place. The last thing we want to connect is this little waterproof power junction. You can get that from Amazon also. Again, link in the description. They just make it simple to connect the power cord to the driver. No worry about water, and it's just convenient. And at the end, you get to plug it in and test it out. I had to reach over to the plug, so kind of missed the first push. But here it is, 
completed job. 15 minutes. I did speed up the time, but it took about 15 minutes. Here it goes. I'm going to put a final picture up at the end of this video. I hope you guys learned something. I hope it was helpful. And have a great day. Loki.